guys, we are going to have a second look at the British Heart Foundation Furniture and Electrical Store in Hounslow High Street. So, get yourselves tuned in, watch in HD because you're watching Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in honour of the original Supreme Florence Ballad, the Shirelles and Hoover's first 1100 RPM automatic, the A3060 Electronic 1100. Hello, hello. It's all Oh my god, they've got a vintage hot point. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? 60 pounds. It's an Aquarius 1200. M34. Oh my god, that door glass is amazing. They've got some glass these days. Is that a new, is that a new generation? <laughs> 7810 plus. Wait. I swear that's a Curry's exclusive. Oh my god. Apart from that, the missing dog, but Jet System 9 on them. Holy shit. Service fridge, but. Oh my god, why have they put that there? I can't even bloody see it. What is that? Hot Ocean Deluxe. Oh, Ocean. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. Series, pretty much. Mm. It's going in there. It's going in there. Nothing there, but oh my god, I need to get. Oh, what's this one? FJ963. Lucy. Can't stop me, bro. What's this Bosch? 1200. W. D2 form. That's that one that was here last time. Oh god, it's still not sold out Yeah, I wonder why. That's like the Mealers Oh my god. It's a WM34. Whoa. And this though. I need a closer look. £60 for it, it's not bad. But it's not a washer dryer. If it was a washer dryer, I would have probably got it. Uh, you're right. Yeah. We are. I just want to get a closer look at this uh, washing machine if it's possible. Alan. Oh my god! And the dishwasher to match it. Pull and push off. That's a that's a nine five series. Which one? The hot point one there, yeah. Yeah. Mason's find an old old one here. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look at that. Seven eight one zero plus dishwasher. Seven eight 
going to the same range as the 9530. This is the Zanussi Jets, this is a 900 model FJ963. I believe it's got full vehicle capacity. And this is the home. This is actually not too bad, considering it's got, well, that could be cleaned out, but see the silver's like a brown colour. That's what our mains are on the door. I'm going to stick that cigarette in it. So, problem A is... Boil wash, it's actually listed down as it? B is... Coloured Swarton 60. C is... Cotton, poly cotton's 40. It's probably your rinses. D is 900 RPM spin, synthetic side, F is mixed fabrics, G is non-fast colours mixed fabrics, rinse is the spin, it's probably rinse all point, H is whites and colours 40 or non-fast colours 40 for your woolens, J is wool 40, K is Worn once as a quick wash. L is hand rinses. M is what's that? freshen up. N is short spell. P is drain. What's Q? Pre wash. Oh, okay. Shut options out. It's got a lock on it. Super economy and quick wash. Ooh, they got the super economy. Right, this is the vintage find. Well, sort of vintage, classic. Hot one, Dublin 34A, Aquarius 1200. Door is. Wow. I'm assuming we've got a green drum rim. That was a four kilogram drum in there. I'll take away that June. Hang on, that'll be 30 degree 12. June 1995, I think that is, or 96, I can't remember. This is the WM version, of the Aquarius wash system version of the WM31. You've got the WM style drawer, which is essentially a 9.5. These were the continuation of the 9.5s. Your options are on or off, that's how you know it's also a WM range timer, although some of them did have 9.5 models with this. Super rinse increases rinse level, so it's been 1200 down to 500, and the economy wash doesn't energise heater. It's almond, the programs are pre-wash, that's your stop point, the bow tie, Not, uh, white cotton 95, 90 degree, uh, 60 degrees Celsius colour fast cotton, non 40 degrees Celsius colour fast cotton, 4 rinses, that's your final rinse long fast spin at 1200 rpm that's the 1200 section there and it ramps up like the cassata not like the 95s uh let's have a look that is 50 degrees celsius colored synthetics 40 40 acrylics and wall mixtures that's like program six on the 95 that's program six sorry what's that quick wash oh yeah they had a separate quick wash Three, two rinse, I think. Three. Short spin at 900. They do have an extra session there. 40 degrees Celsius machine washable wool. Uh, what's that? <laughs> wow, that's very really nice, that one. What's that? Two rinses? I don't know what they do, two rinses. Hmm. Two or three, I can't remember. Two rinses on, three rinses on the one cycle. Short, slow spin. <coughs> What's that? That's the mains indicator. Oh. Even they have the 
what we've worked on. Very, very good condition, 60 pounds. Yeah. Unfortunately, if it was the washer dryer, the 1200 model, the WD32 or the WD31 Aquarius Ultimate in this color, I would have taken it. Yeah, okay. Wow. Very good. Thank you very much. That's been there from six months. This one's back in April here. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. It is missing the variable swan. Okay. So guys, that was our day at British Heart Foundation in Hounslow. Um, that and the Wandsworth one always seem to have the good stuff in it. And that was something I was not expecting, the, a WM34. Um, upon first glance, I thought it was a 95 series, but because um, of the, the way the trims are on the lid, but of course, all the front of the machine. Um, Charlie is wanting that machine, washing machine guy. So hope, I mean, that won't go anywhere soon. So 60 pound. To deliver it here would be £30. Um, I would hang on to the machine if... Okay, now. I would hang on to the machine if I had room. Now I have to explain something to you all that you're all confused about. So, there's good news. And there's probably better news as well. There's good news and bad news, actually. But So, number one, the ASCO is gone. I mean, not gone. She's in the shed, but uh, unfixable. Reason is, is because I'm not going to attempt... I'll attempt to do any repair on a washing machine. The one thing I won't go near are electrics. Because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to electricity. I'll be honest. I know how to wire the machine up, but I don't know how to trace all the other electrical faults in the machine. And I think it's more than just the plug. It's an earthing problem. That means the machine is leaking out electricity, basically. It's not earthed properly, so that's how I got a shock from a place I should not have on the machine. I think that was a warning to me, that first shock that I got. Who's to say the next shock I get isn't a 240 volt shock that not only kills me, but throws me about seven foot back. I love washing machines with all my might and all my heart, but I'm not willing to die for one. I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't even die for the Hoover A3060, and that's saying something. So, if anyone's willing to take that machine, I'm putting the machine up on the Collectors Group service wash. I'm not selling on eBay. The machine hasn't got a plug. The front near the drawer is corroding. And... Uh, what else on the machine... I can't remember the other thing that was going on. Just just general rust on the machine as well. Oh, the cold solenoid leaks as well, and quite badly. You can't remember to find the machine full of water. So if anyone's willing to take that machine, it's an, she's an ASCO Quattro 1600 W6661. If anyone's willing to take that machine off me, feel free to. Um, but only if you know what you're doing when it comes to electricity, because I do not want to be responsible for someone taking that machine and losing their life over it. So I would rather scrap the machine, but if there's anyone who wants to pay like about £20 or so for the machine, um, then we can. We can do something about that. Um, if not, uh, if anyone wants it for parts, if anyone's got a Maytag, Whirlpool, or even a service branded ASCO, you can take that as well. Most of the parts will fit, uh, unless you've got a 2000 or 1800 RPM model. I don't think most of the parts will fit. That's a 1600 but you've got 1600 below, most of the parts will fit the door, etc. So that machine's going. So we're going to be back down to four machines. Now, on to the Hotpoint 9530. Good news. We have sourced a machine to get a fascia from. A 9530W. Uh, our hero is once again Supermatic James. Now, here is... The difference you're going to be noticing. I want you all to listen to this carefully because it's not what it sounds like. But it's the only way I can explain what's going on. Because the machine James has found me is a 9530W, what that means is it's a brown and white hot point. Not brown and almond like my one being a 9530A. The colour the color code is at the name end of the model number. 
9530A means 9530 spring almond, so A for almond. 9530W means brown and white. Didn't come in a polar white, but the 9534 comes in 9534, 9534P, meaning polar white, all white. That was WAP was their colour scheme. The new generations obviously ended in zero for white and brown or white, chrome and brown. And two uh, designated spring almond and chrome and brown. Example 95450 and 95452. Anyway, I knew the one I was going to find was going to be a 9530W because you only ever really see that one pop up. I do not see most of the almond ones. So the only thing I can take off this machine is the fascia. Aside from that, the lid I'm getting from a 9536 from Steve and Rob, Robert Smith. Uh, the front trim, I'm going to source that off a website. I was having a conversation with James about it. And it obviously means I'm going to have two 9530s in this house. Because, of course, I'm not going to be able to send one away straight away. Now, this 9530 is for spares or repairs. The trouble with the machine is there's a leak. We probably think it's either the door seal, the sump hose, or the top seal. It's most likely the top seal. On these GEC hot points, it's normally the top seal, because it's happened on my 9530, and it happened on the Cassata as well. Uh, the top seal just perishes over time. Simple clip off the top front, put the new one on, back on. 10-minute job, pretty much. Now, this 9530 is immaculate. The 9530W, I'm honest to God saying immaculate. The trims have not been touched on this machine. The machine, I think, sports the original gloss door. I'm not too sure. Might not. But the fascia is just a bit grubby, needs a clean, but everything's immaculate. There's the odd bit of rust that you find on the machines. So, what I'm going to be doing, guys, now I want you to listen before you comment. Um... You know how I am about my washing machines. I do not get replace or get rid of my machines. However, what I'm deciding to do is I am getting a 9534 fascia from James that he's selling. I'm going to keep it spare. I have said in the future I will get a 9534 because I want to compare the two ranges. And I want to have something from each range of hot points. So that will be something from the 1988 range. So I'll keep that one. Barbara's going to get her replacement lid and the trims in time to come. But the 9530W, which is the one I'm getting from Gumtree, £10 from Norwich. It's coming on Wednesday afternoon. What I'm doing is I'm taking this 9530W and I'm fixing the machine. Because other than that, the machine works, from what I've been told. If there's any other problems, I'll investigate. My original plan was to put the fascia on Barbara and then put the 9534 fascia on this brown and white one and sell that as a 9534 in disguise. Because if it's not a collector, no one's going to know the difference between the two models. The only difference really is, is the style of the fascia and the fact that the machine distributes for 15 seconds longer between the spins. The, 9, 5, the April 1988, uh, 1986 range distributes for one minute between the spins. And the 1988 are one minute 15 seconds. You, and I reckon there's something to do with the wash action that's slightly different. I don't know. I might be wrong. Uh, Serve Slimline will know. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm taking the 9530W and that one is going to be the new 9530 in this house. Now listen, you're probably all falling off your chair here in that. Barbara is staying with us for the moment. She's going to go to some collectors. If you don't know who she's going to, she's going to Matt and Elliot. Because Matt and Elliot have... They love Barbara. They love that 9530. They're meant to be getting a 9511 from Service Gem, but we don't know what's happening with that machine. It's... The machine is rusted to hell. The one off which washer. It's more than just the, 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 the whole bearings have gone on that machine. So we need to fix that. But we haven't got time to do that. I didn't get time to do that with, with Clarkie when I went up there. I'm so busy and whatnot. So. I'm going to ship the machine with the fascia door and trims separately. They're going to be wrapped up in a wooden framed box. Which is how James is going to send me the 9534 fascia from Ireland. And we're going to... So that will be totally undamaged. We don't go with chest moving. 
we won't face that problem. Chess Moving said they can't do anything because we didn't insure anything. I will insure this machine going out, so if anything happens, I get compensation for it. But as long as that happens, that's fine. Um, I'll bubble wrap the machine on my own. Um, now, uh, you're probably thinking, why the hell are you sending your own 9530, your first ever vintage washing machine, all the way to Australia? Well, there is something to it. But I'm not going to say it just yet. There is going to be a video where I explain all what's going on. There are some people who, there are quite a few people who do know. I'm not going to name who. And those guys who are watching, do not mention anything. I do not want anyone to know. Uh, but I have news to tell you all about stuff, about the machines and whatnot, etc. Um, I have also promised them they can have the Cassata if I find the Soft Lilac WD61. Um, and I will take the old front plate off and put the old one back on so the machine's not doing 100 degree boil washes and I'll put that on the new WD61. Uh, but apart now with the ASCO, so we're going to be back to having five machines again because we're going to have to, I'm just technically going to have two 9530s. Before you get any ideas, I'm not going to be using Barbara because she is going to need a new fascia and whatnot. 9534 fascia so she's going to technically be a 9534 until i can find another 9530 to put the fascia on um, but matt and elliot aren't bothered about her being a 9534 people suggested i do that but you know what i'm like with my machines they have to be exactly what they are um so i that's why i didn't take that fascia so what i am looking to replace the asco with is a washer dryer I have a few in mind, but unfortunately, they're very, very rare washer dryers that I want to replace her with. I did consider a Dyson Contra rotator because I've always wanted one, but I told myself it has to be a washer dryer because I need some form of drying and I can't have a tumble dryer at the moment because this house is not suitable to have them in the kitchen and have it anywhere else. My dust allergies really play up. I've got really bad. You might have heard in some of my videos I sound really bunged up during the summers because I get hay fever. Dust allergies do it now as well. So that's what's going to happen. I was considering the Creeda 17332 from Clarkey, but that Creeda is too new for me. That's still too much of a hot point looking Creeda. I would go for the older Creedas like the 17319 with, with the push out dials and the spin slider and the letterbox draw. Fortunately, it's going to be so hard to find one of those. Uh, but we're going to look and see what I can find. Uh, and that would be good to have a permanent washer dryer in the collection. Um, now, a course with an ASCO, I'm not really bothered about letting that go. Because I probably could get one in the future. So there's probably a hint at something. Um, as I said, if you guys comment anything and say, oh, is this what's happening? I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to give away too much. I'm going to wait for... You know the video I said I was going to do about how Australia changed my life. And I'm going to mention about what happened with me and Courtney and whatnot. That video is going to come out a lot later than expected because, for reasons, I have to gather up what to say and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, that's just a bit of an update about what's going on. So you guys now know what's happening with the 9530. So I'm not replacing Barbara. She's staying here for a while. She's not exactly going the next day. She is staying here until I can find some time to send her out. Along with a few of other, Cla uh, other of Clarkie's machines that are going out. I think they're taking the Creed of 17332. Um, so yeah, um, but aside from that, that's that. So, you'll be seeing a 9530W on here. To be honest with you guys, a 9530W was what I always wanted, not a 9530A. I just didn't want to let Barbara go, because she was a 95 then for free. I wasn't going to let a 9530 go, because that was what I wanted from the range. So, the 9530W is a childhood machine to me, because neighbour two doors down had one in her kitchen uh, remember it broken trims brown and white to me is what I always prefer on the 9.5s and I grew up with and I think it looks more 80s to me so I wonder, I don't know what the characteristics of this one will be I don't know if she'll be more louder than Barbara I don't know maybe got fast much more talk in her we don't know hopefully it's just a tub um, seal and we can get the machine going so she'll be coming on Wednesday afternoon so I'll come in from work on that day which should be good and aside from that, 18th of August, we're heading to the laundry centre for a wash-in. Can't wait to see Chris again. See some new machines there that he's got, including another Hoover A3060.
and a 9530. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoy hearing that news. Everything's going well. A couple of videos of the... There's one more video of the Cassata, and I've got... I've done one of the A3060 that you're really going to love as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.